guys, today I'll be making a hummingbird cake and it is a light and fluffy sponge cake filled with bananas and pineapples and pecans and to make it even better, it's gonna be topped off with a zesty cream cheese frosting. Now this is one of my favorite recipes. So let's go ahead and get started. Into a bowl, we're gonna need all our dry ingredients. I have some self-raising flour, which I've already sifted, raw caster sugar, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a generous pinch of salt. And let's just give this a quick mix till everything is nice and combined. All right, now we can just set this aside. To move on to our wet ingredient, we're gonna need some bananas for this. We're gonna need four bananas. If you have some bananas that you've bought and neglected and they're dying somewhere in the corner of your house, then this is your time yeah! to shine. So the riper the banana is, the sweeter and the more intensive flavor it's gonna be. And we just wanna mash this all together. I'm using a potato masher, but if you don't have one, just use a fork. It will do the job as well. Now that we have a smooth paste straight into the bowl, some chopped pineapples, they're tinned pineapples, and we're gonna need two eggs, which I'm gonna attempt to crack with one hand at the same time. And it went okay. Some oil, I'm using some red palm oil because it is cholesterol free, so it is a great alternative to butter when you bake. A teaspoon of vanilla extract into the bowl. Just mix this all together. Okay, that's nice and combined. So we can get back to our dry ingredients. We just wanna fold this into the wet ingredients. I kinda like how the red palm oil gives a really orange, orange? Yeah, orange color. And when it bakes, it's gonna look really, really good. Lastly, you're gonna need some chopped pecans and then just give this another quick mix. We're gonna need two baking tins for this. Divide the batter evenly into both of the tins. This is going to go into the oven at 180 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes till it's golden and risen and delicious. Now that the cake is in the oven, we can go ahead and get our frosting action happening. What we're gonna need first is some softened butter, some icing sugar and you want to sift this to make sure there are no lumps. So if you have very stubborn icing sugar like me, you have to turn into an Eskimo and break that mother sugar up. Okay, we're almost there, we're almost there. Okay, we're almost there. Now that we've sifted all of the icing sugar, we are gonna go ahead and cream this together so it's nice and fluffy. that is nice and fluffy and sort of changed in color. It's a bit more pale. This is a time when we go in with some cream cheese, a teaspoon of good quality vanilla bean extract, the zest of one lime, half the juice of this lime. Put your hand over it to catch any hiffs if there are any. And we can get back to mixing this just nice and smooth. And that is our cream cheese frosting. I'm gonna have a quick taste. Oh! So good. Ta-da! The cake has come out of the oven and the whole place smells so good. Before we can frost this, we gotta wait for it to cook completely. That's gonna take a while. Luckily for you, I've made one earlier. Grab our frosting, which we made earlier, and you're gonna wanna put half the portion into the center of the cake. And I'm just using a palette knife to just smooth this across. We're gonna go ahead and put the roof of the cake back on and put the rest of the frosting on top of the cake. That looks nice and even to me. I'm gonna pimp our cake up. I've got some pecan brittle, which I've made earlier. Just grab a clean tea towel and put the whole lot in there. And grab yourself a rolling pin and just bash the crap out of it. Come 
over here and has a look. It has turned into a magical dust and it's sweet and delicious. And that's gonna go on top of our cake. We're gonna go ahead and get another line and we're gonna zest this. Lastly, just to make it a bit pretty, I've got some edible flowers. So just go ahead, top this on top of your cake. And that is our cake done. And now I'm going to taste it. Mmm. The cake is like nice and fluffy. You can taste all the banana flavor going through. And that cinnamon really pull all the flavors together. And that cream cheese frosting is light, is zingy, and everything just works so well. So make sure you have a go at making this yourself. And I'm just gonna eat the rest of my cake. I'm so messy. <laughs>